What are we doing today? Combination lock. And we've also got this lock just because it's big and I don't know. It just might be cool to cut it open. But first we're gonna do this one. We've got it glued down now. We're gonna try and come in on this side and then we're gonna go around the knob and then out through the top on that side. still glued to the board. <laughs> Break the glue on it and see if you can spin it still. We got it spinning. Okay, hold that. Twenty-three. It's gonna be spin it three times first to clear. I'm guessing there. Twenty-nine. Maybe twenty-five thirty is probably twenty-nine there. And then nineteen. We cut off the half that is supposed to come out. This pin is supposed to do something in there. Oh, that was right there. Well, it's mostly working. All except for the unlocking part. We cut that off right here. But next we're gonna do this larger one. This lock is supposed to be able to withstand 11,000 pounds of cutting force and 2,000 pounds of pry force. I don't think it went all the way through. Look at the back side. There's a tiny spot that it didn't go all the way through. Right there. There we go. It's more solid than I thought it'd be. <laughs> Cut that like it was nothing. Thanks for the suggestion that we cut open a combination lock. I thought it turned out pretty cool. And go ahead and leave us a, us a comment of what else you think we should cut open. And always please subscribe. Yeah.